Has got a laser boost. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to Swan Song. It's time for us to explore Hazel's apartment and hopefully find some dirt on her. Even though I'm like the Swan. The Swan is here all along. Who knew? Oh, that's definitely a thing. It looks like it's got a button next to it. God damn! All right, we got um, <laughs> we got some uh, places to explore and some missions to grab. Ones that we don't have a choice in, apparently. My prince, I have passed you request for more information about Mr. Underwood. On to Jason Moore. I can only congratulate you for taking such an initiative. I've observed a steady increase in Mr. Underwood's contacts with mortals around the globe, particularly in South America and India. He's very secretive, but he hides his financial transactions better than his contacts. He has a need to control everything at all times and uses every channel at his disposal to keep up with the latest news. Like most blue bloods, he's a workaholic who trusts no one but himself. Since he's become Galeb Bazori's child, the family business he inherited has grown into a vast, sprawling network that controls the sugar industry from production to sales. He has often flouted the rules of the masquerade. I suspect he has gone against many of our principles on several occasions. In any case, without being able to prove it, I wouldn't be surprised. At court, Mr. Underwood is a veritable fox. He knows how to increase his influence, especially since Mr. Bazori has taken a step back. In fact, he is the most prominent member of your clan, after yourself. But he is also he also has close ties to the members of your primogen, Hilda McAndrews in particular, but also to a lesser extent Richard Dunham. The inter interdependence that is cult he has cultivated makes him a threat to your interests. It would be very easy for him to bypass your authority if he felt like it. He has many ways of applying pressure. I do not mention here the business of the other members who are dependent on his goodwill, but I'm enclosing several documents showing these connections. Caius Leto. Nice. That's interesting. Can we hit this? Button. You get the feeling something's missing. Ah. There's an object around to the put in there. Found swans very moving. They do move. Beautiful, usually in water. Full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. Ah. There are faint marks on the wall. Ah. Oh man, I don't have that kind of power. There are faint marks on the wall. That is not what I was looking at a second ago. I was trying to look at this one. Use key. Use key? I don't have a key. Shit. We're going to have to go find a key, huh? Swan. Stop looking at me, swan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's go put the swan on the swan. Let's go double swan. Activate swan. Swan engaged. What have we got here? Key? Hell yeah, that's for this. This is going to be a puzzle that I'm not going to be able to solve because I'm not smart enough, isn't I wonder it? If... A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Interesting. What does it say down there? Anything? They all say 2018. What could you spell? Why can you spell with those letters that we've got there? Is there anything around that would suggest what we should spell? Shit, I don't know. Can we look at this again? This could take a while. This could take a while to figure out. Push. Ah, oh, you have to push them in a certain order. How many? Who knows? There must be something around here to hint at what we sh Like this, I suppose, except I don't have the power for it. I don't have the all specs uh, abilities for it. See if we can find anything else lying around that might hint at what the answer might be. Oh, hang on. I understand better now why Dijon never mentioned his sign. My prince, my tr always one step ahead. My trip to New Orleans was not for nothing. I was able to learn about a, about Dijon Siaka's past. He's the child of one Marie de Richet. 
If her name isn't familiar, that's to be expected. She is rather ordinary, but interestingly enough, she had ties to the Hartford Chantry. Indeed, not long after her unauthorized embrace, she was sentenced to final death by the Hartford Tremere. Her escape led to led her to Louisiana, where she met she Siaka. She embraced him in a voodoo ritual that I don't understand much about, but it seems that it has left a deep impression on Mr. Siaka, who has been influenced by this magic throughout his existence. It appears that he has come to New England to settle, settle a score with Hartford. I think we could use this to our advantage, given the arrangements we envision. For example, we could make him a part of the Boston court. It shouldn't be too hard to make him your puppet, especially if we promise to solve his problem. Uh, he could be put in contact with the Chantry, perhaps a sleeper agent, or he could take on responsibilities while remaining our puppet. However, if Deneb Osborne were to discover what I've learned, Mr. Siaka's existence would undoubtedly be threatened. It's up to you to decide. However, I think this is a golden opportunity. It would be a shame to pass up. I plan to stay a few more days to clarify some points. I'm sending you this message through a reliable servant. Then I'll return to court as soon as possible. JD. Who's JD? Jara Drury? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. Jara. Nothing in here. I don't think there's anything else to be seen around here. Which worries me. What is this? I didn't know Hazel was into music. Ah. This is the answer to the puzzle. Is that B E D A C? Yeah? Wait, B F. B F D A C. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? B F D A C? Uh, B F D A C. That noise. Something moved. Ah, good. Open. That wasn't so bad. So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. Dear Jason. What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? As a prince, as prince of Boston, you know I'm always looking for opportunities to expand my domain. A few of my counselors have brought an opportunity to strengthen our hold on Boston's nightlife to my attention. I'd like you to evaluate the acquisition of a number of venues. A specific list is attached to this letter. These venues happen to currently be used by M. M. Lewis, whom you do not know very well. She is one of our kind, but I ask for your utmost discretion on this matter. Sincerely, Hazel Iverson. Okay. That explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. My prince, I have heard that you feared the departure of my dear sire, Galen Bazori. Indeed, the progressive departure of the eldest among us is a matter of concern, especially when it involves a such a loyal and valuable element as Galen. Nevertheless, I believe I have a way to keep him at your disposal for a while longer. My sire is rather infatuated with a promising young woman. He wishes to embrace her more than I have ever seen him desire anything. Why, you may ask? Why choose to have another child when you already have a child as accomplished as myself? I wouldn't dare to comment on the subject myself, and would join you in your question, so this Xu Feng, as the object of his desires is named, should be formally presented to you very soon. You know how dear old Bazuri stands on tradition. Of course, he will only embrace him when he's given the permission to do so. That is why I suggest you use some obscure excuse, such as the overcrowding of Boston, for example, to stall for time. He will understand. If there's anything Galeb is good at, it's understanding prince princes, even when they make decisions that go against his interests. Ask him for more time, postpone it, or even simply ignore his requests, and he will be all the more ready to prove his worth to you. To show you he deserves it. I obviously do not expect any form of compensation for this advice. The mere act of serving my prince in the court of Boston, of performing my duty in short, is payment enough for me. That and, you know, Galeb not embracing the lady to replace you. Bazori is a loyal dog, and Hazel's got him on a short leash. During Quentin King's reign, Galeb Bazori was always above reproach, performing every task assigned to him without batting an eye. He is the consummate tool for doing dirty work, as he is cold and efficient. I won't even begin to tell you how many thin-blooded, anarch or dissidents he has faced and defeated. Such overwhelming loyalty to your predecessor would suggest that he'd be sidelined or even removed. Nevertheless, I urge you not to rush down this path. On the contrary, keeping Galeb Bazori as close to you as possible seems the wisest thing to do. Indeed, his loyalty was not to Quentin King, but to the role of Prince. And today, that is you, Miss Iverson. Galen Bazuri could quickly become one of your best assets. I remain at your disposal to provide you with the reports on his various missions, but a reading of everything seems unnecessary, as there is far too much of it. Well, there you go. Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If 
wish I were to find out. Dear Miss... Miss Iverson, it is with a heavy heart that I confirm I carried out your orders last night. Halsey is no more. Not the daughter. So you will most certainly experience less fear of new incidents. I've already made arrangements at the Institute for Leisure because I am certain that she will be shocked and that she will become unwell. While I understand your reasons, with all due respect, I must warn you that Halsey's disappearance will not necessarily result in increased potential for Leisha to have visions. I'll tell Leisha that there's been an unfortunate accident, and if required, I'll manipulate her memories to avoid the worst. You can count on my discretion, and I will be, and I will be tome regarding this matter. Sincerely yours, Doctor R. Dunham. Well, that's it. I think I've got everything. Let's go and see the Boston Anarchs, shall we? I should go. It's going to be a long night. Oh, yeah. We got no reason first, to stick around. The Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first. Are we going to play as Leisha now? Or are we actually going out? You could discover that Beryl Underwood and Galeb's ghoul, Xu Feng, were up to something. Okay. You could have discovered a secret about your sire, Hilda McAndrews. Okay. Well, you know, I guess I didn't do so well then. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not sure that I give a damn, frankly. Just saying. Anyway, uh, let's put one into deduction. I like deduction. Personally. Ooh, we're back into our mind palace. Hypodermic needles. So she had, I mean, kind of been her daughter, right? Anyway. I mean, Kendra can't have kids, right? Right? That thing's still burnt into our face. Ouch. <laughs> like it went crazy. Pinocchio? <laughs> Where are you? Yep, free stuff. Are we at home base? Oh, we're in uh, many hours have I spent Dunham's place. In armchair for my therapy sessions. This is Dunham's room, right? No, read, please. I think I've read everything in here, though, already. Ancient computer. Richard must have had a breakthrough if Hazel's interested in it. All right, let's roll. Wait, what are we doing? Go to Halsing. Oh man, I don't want to talk to Pinocchio. Hey, pumpkin. What are you looking at? The picture is scary. Which one? <laughs> Come now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No. Potentially. But... Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know... I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, there are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. And who hurt you. Yes. Them. Bad fly. Don't be scared. Be gone. Mommy's here. I know. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. Except the prince. Ugh. There you are. But what on earth is that mark? I ran into an experienced inquisitor. I was caught off guard. Not a dangerous mission, was it? You brought back a souvenir. I'm still in one piece. That's all that matters. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... The prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... Well, 
that I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. Are you still angry that Hazel let me out? Don't you think there are more pressing issues here? See? I told you so. That's enough. I'm not venting frustration. Can't you see that? You're confusing a wounded ego with my professional concerns. I appreciate you worrying, but... Yes, I'm troubled by the faith that you place in Hazel, and I have good reason to be. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Leisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't have a firm grasp of the risks. How could I have guessed that? And to top it off, you didn't bring anyone back to the Prince. Oh, yeah. You'll become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid. Hazel has become dependent on you. Don't you think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion? Yeah. Dependent on me? On your visions, of course. Don't you understand? She didn't bring them up. Of course she did. She did mention them in passing. <laughs> in passing. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future to try to influence the course of events she would like to you mean what do you mean by that they're strange images you mean to say they're symbolic that's it symbolic i guess but it's hard to say what they could mean that's why I don't think it's a good idea to encourage Hazel to think that she can rely on your visions to serve her own ambitions. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Leisha, Halsey isn't real. What? If not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom. He hates me. You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. We already know it's true. Leisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you! It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar. It's, it's not true. I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, you, you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the Prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. I'm coming. Aren't you worried that you were pissed off that we're doing what the Prince said? And then you said obey her. We have to obey her anyway. We don't have a fucking choice. Get off my back. <laughs> You sack of shite. Laisha, I wanted to thank both of you for... The prince sees me. See, Mom? Richard's a liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You see me? Quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. 
It sounds reasonable. <laughs> Ooh, 54%. Should I take a risk? Let's give it a try. We'll probably fail, but... I like to take risks. Let's gamble. Yay, we got one. You're really only interested in my visions. You've been manipulating me because you're afraid of the future. I... I fought hard to earn my place. I don't want to lose it. Yes, but why have you been... Surprisingly candid. Manipulating you? I've done nothing of the sort. It's not as simple as that. Hallucinations, premonitions, these visions are part of you. So... Halsey, you're calling her a vision. I don't think Halsey is putting anyone in danger, especially not you. I don't think anybody should tell you to change who you are. Yeah, damn right. No, nobody. That's for sure. And I'm surely the only person that believes that. Have no doubt. I don't know. You don't trust me. I think I'm a little confused. Mom? I don't understand. Why are you saying that? Listen, I'm sure you weren't expecting it. I would have rather spared you all of this. But Richard is convinced you're better off without Halsey. Yeah, clearly. Yes, he told me that. <laughs> he told me that if Halsey stayed, I'd have even more visions. That's true, as far as I can tell. And that I'd end up unable to tell what's real from what's imaginary. He's even provided me with a treatment. Oh. Well, it's up to you to decide if you want to take it, of course. But before you make up your mind, I... We need your help. Our family is in danger, Leisha. Uh, I, I don't know if I can. I don't really feel like... The second Inquisition is here. You saw them yourself. Mm -hmm. Mom? That's what the mark is Mom, about. This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Please. I'm tired too, Sugar Fangs. You need to help us. After all that I've just learned, something tells me you're going to want me to have a premonition. Yes, I need to know if I made the right decisions. It's essential. I mean, I guess we'll give it a try. All right. But I can't promise you anything. Try. I have to know. Mom? It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me. Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. Is she the swan? I just saw it. We know, Mom. She's the swan, What's isn't she? On? Hazel's the swan. Leisha, is Halsey speaking to you? What is she saying? You're gonna die. You're going to be destroyed in two days. You're lying! I'm just telling you what I understood. Do you still want to know what I see? There's... There's got to be a way to... Shuffle things. There must... Not after everything I've done. I won't believe it. You asked for it. I... Please leave. I need to think. As you wish. <laughs> you asked for what I know. Now you know. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Probably too much. <laughs> I don't know who to believe anymore. Let's just do our thing. It's all good. Richard or Hazel. Fuck both of them. Let's just do our thing. <laughs> They're both twats. Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Plus the kids wouldn't. Make you stop. <laughs> Man, I do want to get rid of the kid because it's really creepy, but oh, I can't do that to her. So we're inseparable? Like two peas in a pod? Yes. Like two peas in a pod, sweetie. <sighs> Plus, Malkavians are more fun when they're crazy. <laughs> I 
Let's try and stay as crazy as possible. For entertainment. Is the Inquisition that's going to destroy the prince then? Or someone else? I'm curious now. There's us. And Halsey. In a crazy person place. <laughs> Lunatic asylum. Padded walls and shit. By the look of it. Is it for vampires exclusively? They have their own um, places? Or do they mix them in with people? Because that seems like a bad idea. Can't believe they killed our kid though. Or whatever Halsey was. Because obviously she was alive at some point. Mom? Yes. I'm fine. It's alright. It's just... I need to talk to Richard, Pumpkin. Then? No, we're happy yeah, can we not talk to Richard? You. The hallway. My memory. He has to explain this. I want to understand. All right. As long as we're together. I didn't drink the drink. Shut up. I let you stay being our wooden child. At least you can do is stop talking. <laughs> Please. Just 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 stop. <laughs> hey, not bad. 100%. That's good. Pretty oh, okay. We need to pick a mission. Well, we should start with MM, I suppose. Going to the Anarx. We can't save here in the level selection, can we? We need to wrap this episode up. But, we'll jump in, do a little bit of MM's mission, then we'll wrap it up. And then we'll continue with it in the next episode, I suppose. We just got all our missions sorted, and we did reasonably well in those ones, I think, for the most part. For the most part. Alright, let's... Let's bump up Education and Deduction. Because they're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty groovy. These are real expensive, eh? 45, just to go up one. That's quite high. Well, that one's only 25. I wonder why that is. Why is Celerity worth so much more than all specs? Hmm. Well, all specs would have come in handy before. Let's put a point into that instead. What have we got left? 25? We probably can't get anything with that though, right? Hmm. That's cool. Alright, let's roll with that. At least we got another deduction. That seems like a pretty useful skill too. Although we're going to have to convince these people to do what we want. Which probably is not going to go well. Considering we're their enemy. Lewis, over here. Hey, Saul. Took you long enough. Rude. Thanks for getting back to me. I wasn't sure you'd kept the pager. You owe me one. So, is it true? Are they really here? Yes. Ugh. I warned Thane like you asked me to. He's waiting for you. Go on then. What kind of mood is he in? Are we gonna get murdered? Worried, suspicious. Expect to be put through the grinder. We'll it's fair. see about that. Any advice? Depends on what you want with him. Just don't forget that you're not welcome here. Thanks, Saul. I feel much better now. <laughs> Is anyone with him? Yeah, the gang leaders. He sent for them before you came. Why did he do that? Why do you think? He's defending his territory. All right, let's I go. Want to see him. Wait for me here. Randall. Dude, we're gonna get murdered. <laughs> Why does he keep? Is it's because we let that girl go that. She keeps throwing us into situations where we're gonna we could die. All right. Okay, you can go in. Oh sweet. What are we in a natural history museum? Looks pretty cool. Can I have a tour? <laughs> that boy's got an anime haircut. 
Thank you for agreeing to see me. A gun? What the hell is that gonna do? We're a vampire, remember? Whatever. Saul told me about the SI. I got the message. Iverson didn't need to send one of her lackeys after me. That's not why Hazel sent me. Then why are you here? To ask for your help. The SI in Boston. Nobody saw it coming, and it's a real threat. But Hazel has a plan to get us out of this mess. Us? Since when is there an us? We're in the same boat? The SI is as much a threat to you as it is to us. The enemy of my enemy. Can we cut to the chase? We managed to pick up their trail from International Place. We know where they're hiding. They've got a base here? Yeah, on Long Island. They're more prepared than we thought. <laughs> Underestimating adversaries is your defining trait. <laughs> You're not gonna offer me a fucking chair. Do I have to stand here like a fool? <laughs> It's worse than anything we could have imagined. When you take into consideration what happened in Vienna? In London? Not many survived. It's gonna be a bloodbath for sure. But Hazel's the only one who can still keep that from happening. Mm. As arrogant as ever. At least she's got ideas. Not everyone can say the same. So what's her brilliant plan? She wants us to cover our tracks. Destroy everything they've got on us to buy us some time. How? By sending someone over there to damage their system. Me, actually. And you agreed. They have a choice. <laughs> Let's just say it was an opportunity I couldn't refuse. Oh, the Camarilla. <laughs> you are in it deeper than deep. I don't see how your little operation concerns us. I need a diversion. Something big. An assault. You want to use us. I want your help. The court will be there too. Think about it. A joint attack tonight. Just long enough to wipe everything they've got on us. No, it's out of the question. Sir. We didn't leave the cam to better serve the prince. Let Iverson play her own hand. If she wants to throw herself on the pyre, that's her problem. Ceres, tell everyone to come back. We're bringing in the patrols. Okay. What if the priests come for all of us? Forget Hazel. I'm the one who needs your help. I won't be able to pull this off without you. You chose the wrong side. There's nothing I can do for you. I already gave you my answer. You're free to rethink the choices you've made. And you're free to leave. You're making a huge mistake. I don't know about that. Doesn't seem like a mistake to me. God damn it. I warned you. I can't just leave like that. We've got to be able to make him change his mind. I've already done my part. Saul, please. You can't give up on me now. <sighs> damn it, Lewis. Does that mean yes? <sighs> there might be a way. You're going to have to hustle. Randall called the gang leaders here for reassurance. But... They could be useful to you if you manage to convince them. Do you think Bane will change his mind? Uh, There's strength in numbers. You're the head of a coterie, too. They know you. If we talk to them... And then what? I've already risked my neck for you. I get it. Are you sure that could work? Bane's gonna be pissed. That's the risk. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. All right, let's say for a second I want to try. Who are they? Ceres and Ratha. She's in charge of the Domain's militia. He heads up a group of hackers. You'll find them inside. If I manage to pull this off, are you with me? That's my condition. I can't go up against Randall alone. It'd be too risky. Thanks. I owe you one. You already do. <laughs> I owe you many. Many, many. Sentencing her to final death. Yep, we're a piece of shit, alright. Alright, where are we going? <laughs> More welcoming than at the court.
So where are these people that we need to find? Should we look around and steal everybody's shit? That's fancy. Fancy. Oh, very nice. Cuban mahogany. We've got expensive taste. <laughs> okay. Kind of specific. What do we got here? Space is limited. First come, first serve. Leave it sundown. Please store your things on the shelves. If you need a bed for more than one day, tell Cirrus. Reminder, this is neutral territory. Incident equals banishment. Neutral. How neutral? Man, we need to wrap it's this locked. one up. I'm going to want to run around for a little bit. Uh, see if we can find someone to talk to. Well, it's a far cry from the glitz and glamour of the court. Sorry. I don't really want to talk right now. Especially not with the chick from the camp. Cammy. Are you sure you're all right? No. I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. Oh shit, that's pretty good. Can I buff that? Uh, 58, let's take it. Roll that dice. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I came to help, and I could help you too. I'm a good listener. You can tell me anything. No, I don't know you. Suit yourself. We tried. All right. I'll be going now. Yeah. Yeah, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Hello. We really got a good setup here. You shouldn't hang around here. Yeah, I get the feeling that too. Oh, let's pick the lock. Bam! Oh. Man, we're gonna need rats to drink out of soon. We're using up blood real fast. Interesting. Going down? Who the hell are you? Shit. There's someone down the hall. Are we sneaking through someplace now? Are we being sneaky? Keep an eye on your keycards. New magnetic keycards have been given to everyone. Unlike the safe cards, which only affect the safety of your personal belongings, these keycards have a direct impact on the safety of the entire domain. In the future, we'll look at simplifying the system. Because you guys are all stupid. Rubik's cube. Always start by making a cross on both sides. The rest will follow. Is that true? I suck at Rubik's cubes. If that's true, that's really that's helpful. Not good time. <laughs> hmm. I need a key card. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here! It'll only take me a sec. Wait a second. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Uh... Zero? 46? Oh, oh man. Shit, we are fucked. Alright. 46. We failed the last one. God damn it. I should have known. What? You don't recognize me. I spend all my time out on patrol. You're not the first. It's no big deal. I know everyone who's on patrol, but I've never seen you before. <laughs> I guess I must not have made much of an impression. Yeah. That or you're fucking with me. Listen carefully. I won't say this a second time. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know who you're looking for, but you've got no business here. Okay, relax. There's no need to get up on your high horse. Get out. Now. All right. All right. I'm leaving. Good. Again. One, two, one, two. Now, where the hell are we now? Clock's ticking. One, two, one, two. I need to find a way to get up there. Yeah, yeah, shut up. The geeks answered Randall's call. They'll be here tonight. I need two volunteers to clean up the docks before they get here. Cool. 
And you are? Yo, what? Nothing. Are you two anyone important? I found him drooling over my vessels. It's unacceptable. Do you really think now is the time for this? They're only oh. here for a few hours. Damn it, in there. Relax. No. Either you tell Saul to call off her. I fixed the transformer, but Cirrus isn't happy. He doesn't want me to mess with it anymore. No, so stop making it blow. So stop making it blow. You to go anywhere near her. Do I make myself clear? That's an order. Dumb bitch. Hello. Excuse me. I don't have anything to say to you. That's fair. What an asshole. Well, we kind of had it coming, right? <laughs> down here oh my god all right we need to wrap this episode up this place is fucking huge just like every level for some reason is huge even if it doesn't really make any sense like a house i mean that house even a mansion it's ridiculous <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you in the next one